Hello, and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about the KDE plot, the kernel density estimation plot. Now this uses a fairly complex machine learning algorithm to essentially do a smoothing algorithm to get us a nice outline of our distribution. So that's kind of the difference. When we look at the histogram plot, we, we can really see lots of detail. Here we're kind of hiding lots of detail. We're smoothing over the whole distribution to give a nice smooth kind of outline. That's good if you want a really, really nice smooth outline. I often find it's beneficial to add a little bit more texture to the plot and get a good sense of where the actual data is. So you can use the BW met method argument. So BW stands for bandwidth. I'm saying it to 0.15 here to add just a little bit uh, of representation where there's no data. So here you can see where it just smoothed over the fact that there's no data. But here we can see that really we're starting to see the idea, get some sense of where there is less data, and that could be valuable in its own way. Okay, what I find the most valuable for a KDE plot, so distributions are super important, but what I really find is that because we're only looking at the outline, the outside edge of a distribution, we get a good sense of where the distribution is. When we use the hue argument, and we separate it by just here, two categories, we could get a good sense of where the distributions are different, where they actually are sitting different, where the real distribution is in comparison to what, just what is different. So you can see that the distribution for females and distribution for men, although you can see the parts that are different, really the whole distribution is sitting in a different place. Now that, that's kind of hidden when you look at a histogram plot that really just highlights where they're different. So this is very good for histograms, a hist plot, is very good for looking at where things are different when you're using the hue argument. This is giving you, although we're looking for where things are different, this is really showing you where the distribution is sitting, where the whole distribution is. And a kind of fun thing to do, I feel like these lines are a little bit thin sometimes, especially when you're using the hue argument. So you can turn LW line width up to whatever number you feel like. Uh, four or five is usually a good number and you get a decent sized color here. So you can see here we get a little bit thicker lines, Again, up to you, whatever you decide. Thank you very much for joining me, and have a great day.